Hi everyone, I hope you're all really well and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So today we're going to be talking all things teeth and you may or may not know that I wore fixed braces for about a year and I had them off last month but you're already seeing the finished product but I wanted to show you what my teeth were like before and share my journey of braces with you. As you'll see more in this video, I've been looked after by 76 Harley Street for my teeth transformation, and I am just absolutely thrilled, like beyond thrilled, with my results. Like I can't believe these are my real teeth. Obviously, I'm so happy to have my braces off, they feel so good and like when I catch myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe it. Um, but in a little while, I am sad to have them off because it means I don't go in um, regularly to see the lovely people at 76 Harley Street. Am I weird that I loved going to a dentist so much? I've really loved it. So I'm actually going to pop a before and after of my teeth close up, actually really see the teeth movement. I had white ceramic fixed braces on my top and then I had um, just the silver fixed braces on my bottom. I have already done a video on kind of everything you need to know about adult braces from cost, length of time, what you can and can't eat, just all those kind of details. So I'll link that uh, video below if you want to know kind of the ins and outs of wearing braces. Um, but this video, as I said, is going to be like my teeth progress. So now I'm going to take you back to the very beginning of my teeth journey, which was the end of 2020 when I first visited 76 Harley Street for my consultation. So 76 Harley Street are really kindly giving away a one hour hygienist session, which is worth 170 70 pounds and also a consultation with their orthodontist specialist which is also worth 195 pounds so if you want to win those two appointments then see the details below hi everybody so today is tuesday the 13th of october and today i'm starting my teeth journey um, I'm heading today to 76 Harley Street. So I'm going to go and see them today um, and see what they can do for me. So I'm gonna take you along the whole process of this from start to finish. So I'm gonna head to the train station now and head into London. I've just had an amazing consultation with Lida and we have looked at my teeth um, and kind of decided on the route that we're gonna go down. Completely different to what I came in here thinking, but I'm really happy with her amazing knowledge and advice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it over what we're gonna do. Hello. So my name's Lita Gamble and we are going for ceramic braces which are clear brackets stuck to the top teeth and then metal ones on the bottom teeth, aren't we? Yeah. So the reason why we're going for this instead of Invisalign, which I thought that we were going to do, is because some of my, please correct me if yeah, I'm wrong, no, but some of the like major teeth that have got a lot more movement to do, they're the worst ones that I've got, basically. I don't know if that made sense, but so like the, the bigger teeth yeah. are the problem. So Invisalign just isn't gonna be strong enough to kind of turn those bigger teeth around. And so this is gonna be a lot stronger, stronger quicker. quicker. Yeah. Um, so we're thinking around nine to 12 months could be like nine being the shortest, 12 maybe a little bit over yeah. and just see how it goes. Yeah. And then visits Absolutely. sort of four to six weeks to tighten them. Yeah. Is that right? So yeah, every, so we'll fit the brace and then I will see the lovely Laura every four to six weeks to tighten the brace and every time a tooth will move a little bit at a time. And then after the nine to 12 months, we'll remove the brace and then we'll give retainers, which is really important to hold the teeth where they are. And then your journey will be over. Yeah. But we'll keep okay. you updated. So I went for my orthodontist appointment, as you saw, at 76 Harley Street. But hand on heart, honestly, today was the best dentist experience I've ever had. They were so friendly and like professional and just it was amazing because as I said earlier I can't remember I can't remember if I said at the beginning of this vlog or not but um I was going with the um for an Invisalign consultation so when she said um it's not really gonna be you know you need more than Invisalign I was quite shocked 
I know they needed straightening out, but I didn't realise how bad some of them were. So Lida um, explained in the clip earlier, but it's going to be the white ones, which are called ceramic on the top, and then the silver ones on the bottom. They are just a lot quicker, they're a lot stronger, and what it is, is, I'm going to come up close. This one especially has really, like, twisted around. Um, and apparently these ones, the canines, have the longest roots. So it's not just what you see here, it's like what's in the gum as well. So that's like twisted right round, so it needs to come back. The same with my top ones, they're twisting in. And then I've got a lot of crossover at the bottom. But yeah, the most sort of effective, the best way is going to be with the actual fixed brace. Something I didn't even think of that they said was, at the moment, everyone's wearing masks anyway. Um, and I'm not really going out much, so I guess this is a good time actually to have it done. So the next step is to have... Um, I've got to have a hygienist appointment just to like give them a thorough thorough clean before the braces go on I've got to have a scan of my mouth and also x-rays Morning everyone, it's Tuesday morning and today is the day my braces are being fitted I'm leaving really soon um, and I'm just, I, I don't know I don't know how I feel, well I do, I'm just like nervous I just want it done now, you know when there's like the lead up so I was just taking some before photos. For my job, I am watching myself back on camera all the time. They're not awful. Just a few of them actually twisted more than I thought. Um, and also, that one, sometimes when I talk, can't do it now. I can just see it like poking out the back and it really, really bugs me. Um, but yeah, I feel like a bit too sort of nervous to have breakfast. I'm gonna get going, but I'll catch up with you when I'm there. Guys, I'm here, I'm outside, just about to go in. Just thought I'd show you my naked teeth for the last time because the last time you're gonna see them without races on for about a year. So, oh my God, oh, I'm nervous. Let's do this. Good morning everybody. So it's the day after I got my braces fitted and I'm still getting used to them. Um, and I think I've just been like talking to Tom at home and I haven't spoken on camera yet. So I think I'm a little bit like, um, that's why I'm trying not to watch myself because I think the more I watch myself, the more I try to like, I don't know, cover them up. Um, but as you can see, as I'm like talking now, they're actually, Sorry, Bertie is really crying in the back. Um, they're not overly noticeable at all, are they? So on the top is the white ceramic ones. So from a distance, they're so, so subtle. Um, and then on the bottom, I have got like the regular silver ones. So the reason why we did these and not Invisalign was because she said these are a lot quicker and they're a lot stronger so they can move your teeth a lot quicker. So they were fitted yesterday. Um, I took some paracetamol just before they were fitted. And they were fitted in like under an hour. So, so quick. I thought that I would feel more rubbing on my gums, which I don't at all. The only pain that I've kind of had is it started just before I went to bed last night, kind of achy. Through the night they were quite kind of sore. I've taken some more paracetamol this morning. I was expecting some pain and to be honest, it isn't as bad at all as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, it's gonna take a bit of getting used to when eating. Uh, my dinner last night got all stuck in them. It's pesto pasta isn't a good thing to be eating when you've got braces. Lida, my orthodontist, thinks it's gonna be nine to 12 months. I just can't tell you how friendly, helpful, professional, amazing, like they just completely take their time. It's never rushing you if you've got more questions. 
and that is just so amazing because it's such a big thing isn't it and of course you can have so many questions um i just can't recommend them enough good morning everyone so just driving into london today to go to the dentist it is what's the day what's the day today is it the 20 26th 26th of January and today is going to be my second tightening of my brace so today we are having them tighten and as you can see can you see that they've really stained this time and that is because we made a paella a couple of actually not a couple of weeks ago last week and it's the kind of the spices in there the cumin and those turmeric Oh my god, turmeric, yes, it's that. How they are fixed is on the tooth, the bracket is fixed on, and that stays on throughout the entire process. But what changes every time is the wire, and there's a little elastic band around the brace, and that is what holds in the wire and kind of keeps each one tight. Yeah, so it's the, the clear elastic bands that get stained. So mine are really stained from the turmeric, so I'm looking forward to having fresh new bands on. But it makes me like really careful what I eat and like I just don't want to get them stained I mean like tea and coffee and things do gently like gradually stain them but nothing like drastically it's the it's the turmeric that's that's done me in this time hi everyone so yesterday I had my braces tightened and my new clear bands and I can't remember during this vlog if I actually showed you them really up close so I'm gonna show you them super up close so you can see I had a gap kind of open up here um, but this is just temporary um, as the treatment goes on it will close up um, but here they are so it's hard to talk and show you that is the racket that is stuck on the tooth and then where the wire goes around there's a little clear elastic band that goes around each bracket and that is what can stain so I'm just gonna lift my gum up just to really show you properly so you can really see very flattering angle but there is the top one but one of my teeth around here is really twisted and she said it was being quite slow at kind of twisting. So what they've done is put a brace on the inside of the tooth to like pull it round. In there, it's, so we've got two brackets on the inside just pulling that tooth around. So it is a little bit weird, I can feel it when you're eating. You actually like move your tongue around your mouth so much without even realising. But I'll get used to it because I'm already like so used to these. I love when I've got fresh bands on because they're just so clean and nice fingers crossed today is the day my braces come off i am so excited um to like really see my teeth without the braces on heading into london this morning to go and see Lida at 76 harley street and they will be coming off as long as like all of the the final corrections have been made if there's still a few small tweaks then they won't be coming off but i think like 90 percent sure that they should be but there's always a but maybe we'll see um what i love about um Lida is she's a perfectionist so she wants them perfect and i'm more than happy with that i've gone this long with them um to have them on for a few more weeks if necessary isn't a big deal i'd prefer to have like to wear them for a few more weeks rather than take them off too early and perhaps they're not 100 percent perfect so either way it's totally fine but i'm just recording this now just in case they do come off my teeth like they look i just can't believe it like they look so nice already for the last few months i have been wearing these bands here this is not an attractive angle is it i've got some hooks here on my teeth uh, that hook the um that then hold the elastic from the top to the bottom uh, bands are a little bit discolored they're quite yellow because i've been taking a collagen supplement that has turmeric in it and it's bright yellow and it has stained them really badly i'm going to head off now and i'll catch up with you when i get there That 
that is my braces and teeth journey. I really hope you enjoyed watching the process right from kind of start to finish. And this is one of the best things that I've ever done for myself. As long as I wear my retainers at night, this means I can have straight teeth for the rest of my life. And you would have heard me talking about 76 Harley Street throughout, um, just what an amazing experience and how kind and friendly and professional they were. I've never experienced that at a dentist before. I've actually always dreaded going, but this has been a completely different experience. And Lida, who looked after me throughout, was just absolutely amazing. She was such a perfectionist and just wanted to get them just perfect. Um, and I'm so grateful um, for her knowledge and skills and just amazing work for giving me teeth like this. We're getting up close and personal now, but I just thought that, or well, I know you've seen the before and after photos, but I just thought I'd give you a big cheesy grin to end the video, just so you can see them up close. 